Has this ever happened to you before? Oh, crap. Or perhaps your dice tower is on the edge of your table. Well, fear not, ladies and gentlemen. We have that fixed with our easy DIY dice tray that prevents all of that annoying things from happening. Perhaps you're stuck behind the DM screen and only have a little bit of space. But we're going to fix that with our easy, less than $5, potentially less than $2, less than one minute build of this simple felt lined DIY dice rolling tray. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so you saw that little intro, so let's get into this. This should be really quick, and it's really limited price-wise and, and I guess, well, really just price-wise depending on how crazy you want to get. So, right here, I have an uh, eight and a half, or an eight by 10 picture frame. Um, any eight by 10 picture frame will work, any five by seven, four by six, depending on the size of the rolling tray you want. Personally, I, I was toying around with the idea of a 5x7, but I feel like it didn't really work. Um, I like to have a little room to roll. And then I have a felt sheet. I went super easy and got an adhesive-backed felt sheet rather than just a regular one where I'd have to use like spray adhesive or something like that. So all we're going to do is flip over the picture frame and take the back out. Put 
down our little thing on the back here. And we're just going to want to cut off this and take this off the back here. And this is just on here with the uh, glue, is it? No, it's just glue. So I'm just going to take the hinge off the back here. So let me go grab a pair of pliers and we'll just rip that off. Didn't actually need pliers. It was pretty easy. I just popped it off the back with the scissors. So there you have it. Nice and simple. Um, again, it sits flat on the table, slides around. You've got your nice felt rolling uh, surface here. You might want to you know, different frames are obviously going to have different backs, so it'll be um, stick up a little higher or lower. Again, we've got some place right over here off the screen. If I can reach it. There we go. Oh. So now we've got a nice little, and we don't risk. See, that's the thing that I was trying to avoid with a deeper die rolling thing. You know, you've got a little bit of a corner here. Let's put this right up in there. I had one roll off the side. But, again, there's nothing stopping you. You don't need to necessarily do a picture frame. You could also build a box out of wood or something like that. But. Again, as long as you're not like going crazy with these, your dice aren't going to roll off the side. So again, here's some six-sided dice. You know what, let's lower this and kind of zoom it in a little bit on the actual dice tray itself. So, as you can see, Safe little area to roll your dice. Again, if you're really throwing them, you roll. It's not a bad roll, that's three sixes. Um, you kind of, if you're really like craps style throwing your dice, you run the risk of possibly popping them over the side. But again, these aren't really, six sided dice don't really have the chance to do that that much. You might run into that with, say, like 20 sided because they're more ball like. Yeah, they're hitting the side and bouncing. Just double 13s. Oh, pretty good today. Um, 12s might be more of an issue, I think. Eh. Yeah, there you go. So just be mindful of your 12 sided dice or just don't roll like a savage. You shouldn't have any problems. So, anyway, guys, that was it. Took maybe a minute tops to do this and again the price is only dictated by whatever you want to spend you can go to places like a dollar store christmas tree shop walmart that kind of stuff and find really cheap frames so i would recommend that and again if you have felt in your house great i got this at michael's i think it was like two bucks this was the adhesive back stuff just because it made my life easier um and again it depends on the size that you want here's our you know our dice tower that I made in the other video, the larger simple style one. And again, because of the angle of all this, all the dice will stop from rolling out. But here's the very first one that I made, which was smaller. And again, we'll do the same thing. This one would probably work really well with like a four by six, oops. Uh, four by six or a five by seven frame. Um, you know, it fit nicely in there, you don't need the big space, but maybe you want a big rolling area for you and all your friends, so you buy, uh, you know, you felt like spending a, a little bit more money and have bolts of felt, so you bought a, like a poster frame, like a two by four foot frame, and you did that, and you just put that on your table as kind of a, a, an area for you guys to all roll. Because nothing's more annoying than when somebody's rolling or you're rolling and you go to do that and things go right off the table. So. 
Um, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this. This is really simple, but I kind of, I don't know why I really wanted to do this for a while. And it's an easy DIY project. And you know, and again, you can get different colored felts and you can get different designs of felts. So you can get as crazy or as simple as you want with this. So, uh, hope you guys enjoy this. And if you do end up making one, send me pictures so I can put them up on our Facebook or, you know, various other social medias. And let me know what you think. Is this worth it? Was this stupid? I mean, it's a short little video, but it's an easy project that you can do within a couple minutes. Um, so anyway guys, I hope you guys have a great weekend and happy gaming.